Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at BTC. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to go over the main ideas that I'm still following here, and then we're going to be talking about the internals of this leg to the upside here. Okay, so at the moment, what we are still looking for here is the possibility that we have this as a bigger W, X, and a Y. Now we have come up into this range here of this 854 looking at this of this w wave now the way we were looking at this is treating this move as a flat correction now we did actually come up a lot higher here than i had anticipated so we need to just be cautious that uh, we don't actually end up looking to target this 2.618 which is up here at this 31,988 level so we're going to go over the internals of the c wave now the thing is if this does get too big here what I would be actually looking out for would be the potential that instead of this actually being a bigger W and X and a Y, what we could actually get here is that this could actually be a flat correction in the B wave of a flat correction. And what I mean by that is that we could have this as three waves moved down. This is a three wave move to the upside. And then we see a five wave move to the downside. So if that is the case, what we would then be anticipating is an additional leg to the downside here in five waves. Now, if this is the case, this would potentially look to actually extend out this um, what we're looking for as a Y wave, particularly if it does look to cross this 31,014 level. If we do move up above that level, what we could actually find is that this could be a flat and we could look to target out one of these levels here at this 31K or this 33,246 level. So this would be our typical area that we'd actually be looking for that possibility of a flat correction to develop in. Now, if we're looking at this in this way, what we'd be looking for here would then be a move to the downside in either a y, a, um, y wave, if we actually maintain below this 31K region, or we'd be looking for that five wave move. So this is what I'm primarily still looking for. You know, we're right in the zone. We could look to potentially turn around. So we need to just be aware of that. So treating this as a flat correction to the upside here, what we are looking for in these internals is... There's a couple of ways we can count this really. So we can look at this in a simple way where we argue that this is just one, two. And then all of this move here is one, two, three, four, and five. Now there is always a possibility within this. We could have this as a one, two, one, two in here. Although the way I'm treating this is actually as a diagonal pattern. So treating this as a single one, two, three, four, and five. So if we've completed this in that way, what we could then get is that this third wave is in place here. And what we're looking for is a retracement down into these levels, looking for this area here of this 29,664 as a possible support range, all the way down towards this 28,439 area. Now, an interesting area to me would actually be this zone here towards this 382, which would be this 28,981. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. If we do just see a three wave move down here, I would be on the lookout for this fifth wave, which could look to take us up towards that 31,988 to this 31,251 level, which would be a typical fifth wave zone. Now, if we want to argue the bullish standpoint here, what we'd be saying is we need to complete a five wave move to the upside here, and then we'd be looking for a three wave move back to the downside. Now, looking at this current structure, given our current high, if we did have to complete here, we could technically still look to find support here between this 27,633 to this 25,975. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because there is another way we could potentially count this, which would be less orthodox, but we could also say that we had one, two, three, four, and actually we've extended in the fifth wave. So if we do have an extension in a fifth wave here, what this could mean is that this move could complete. We could see three waves down and this could still form that possible one, two or an A and a B. So we're going to have to keep an eye on it. With that said as well, though, you know, if this is an extension in the fifth wave here, this could also mean that our flat correction is completed and we actually look to break down in a bigger way. But really, until we actually break this 24,800, you know, we can still look for this possibility of continuation to the upside. Now, we were also looking at this as an extension here. We were saying this could be one, two, one, two, one, two. In which case, what we'd actually be expecting here is an additional fourth and a fifth. Now, what I would be looking for within this is effectively that we are completing a third wave into this high. And then we're looking at this as an additional fourth and a fifth wave to the upside. 
and this target zone is going to be slightly different to the other one we can see it's slightly higher here we have this 29705 to this 2865 region so if we do see price actually continue to break down here in a corrective way i'll then still be looking for that possibility of a fifth wave up here towards this 32128 to this 31379 and then we'd be looking for that evidence of an additional fourth wave and then an additional fifth wave up. Now, the reason I say evidence is because just because we have a move that has crossed a 1.618, it doesn't mean that it has to be a five wave move. Sometimes and a, we can see C waves actually really extend out and this could actually just be A, B and C. So we need to just be cautious of that fact that even if we do see this move play to the upside here in this way and we've come up to this 1618, we could just see this roll over and actually come back down and look to take this wave one, which would invalidate that idea of that um, extension here. So, you know, really, as long as we hold this 28,465 level, I would still be on the lookout for that possibility of a push to the upside. Now, some alternatives that we also discussed yesterday was the possibility that we could have um, this as a Y wave as a flat correction this is still technically possible and like i said until we actually develop the additional fourths and fifths here we could actually just have this as a b and c so if we do actually look to just break down here and validate that idea of this turning into an impulse you know if we come back down and we start to break below this level here this would tie into the idea that this could actually just be a this could be b and then we could still see a c wave to the downside so now our c wave target would be here um, so it's quite interesting because if this was a running flat, what I'll see, what our C wave target would be this 26889. So if we do start to break down in an impulsive way, and we just look to actually move down into this level here, that could actually be a running flat here. Now it would be very rare to get a running flat. Um, the more common would actually be an expanding flat where we actually look to push down towards this lower level here of this 24,719 level as a 1.618 now if this is also going to be a running flat now because this b wave has moved up so high these targets are now valid as well for that running flat where we could see 26 kb as zone and this area here of this 25 526 so i'd be looking out for that possibility of a reversal but really until we actually break that fourth wave location you know it's more likely that we're going to get that push to the upside so we're going to have to just give it a bit of space and see how it actually plays out now, one other thing that I wanted to talk about is the possibility that what we could actually form here is a bigger flat correction in this way. So we've discussed that idea that this could be this could be an A wave, this could be A, B, C for a B wave, and then we see a five wave move down. It is also, however, possible that we could argue that this is W, X, Y, X, and Z into here, in which case this could be an A wave. So if we see this develop as one, two, three, four, five, what we could actually get is a three wave move back down into these levels here of this uh, 25,976 to this 28,350. And then we could still see another five wave move to the upside here. If the, now, this would actually be implying that we're going to have a bigger corrective structure here if we see something like this. The problem is if we do get something like this, we need to be cautious because it could also be a one two one two so it's only going to be ready if we take this low that we know that it's is a corrective structure and you know if we did get something like this we'd have to be cautious because until we took that low this could become one two one two and then next thing we have a very big explosion to the upside looking to blast through these zones now if this does actually play out as a um as a flat correction here what we do have is a couple of targets. So the yellow targets here are if this is going to be a regular flat, which is between this 31K and this 29,559. And alternatively, if this did look to push up higher here into this region here of this 1236 to this 1382, which is sitting at this 33,747 to this 32,669 level, this would tie into the idea of a bigger expanding flat here. So we're going to have to keep an eye on these levels. We can see that obviously that one-to-one -one would bring us back up into this high here so i'd be interested to see whether we uh whether we actually get there or whether this does start to roll over so like i said you know until we actually break that fourth wave location i am looking for that idea of having another push to the upside here and then from there we're going to have to see what happens if we get this as one two three four and five and we come back down and we find support above this low then potentially we can look for that continuation if we get one two three four and five and then we actually break down and lose this low that confirms this idea of the flat correction here 
looking at these daily CPR, what we can see is that we're currently still sitting above the daily CPR points. So if we do actually see these hold, we could see price action start to gravitate to the upside and potentially move up to this S1 line, which is sitting here at this 31,122. We have the S2 at this 32,205. 33647 and this 34754 region. Now, if we do look to break down, we have the R1 at this uh, 28564. We have the R2 at this 27141. The R3 at this 26K and the R4 lower down here at this 25152. So some of these levels will have confluence with those zones that we are looking for. Now, if we are looking at the weekly, what we can see is we've actually met these targets and we are above this level here of this S3, which is sitting at this 29223 region. So if we do actually see that idea of that uh, fourth wave, I would be looking for that potential to actually come back into this range and actually test this as a possible um, fourth wave and then look for that push to the upside for a fifth wave. If, however, we do look to break down, we have the R2 at this 28K. We have the R1 at this 27178. Central lines are sitting here between this 26180 and this uh, 25800 level. And then if we lose that level, we have the R1 at this 25139, the R2 at this 25942, and the R3 towards this 23K. So we'd be keeping an eye on these levels if we do actually move back down here. Looking at the monthly CPR, what we can see is there is actually some confluence higher up here with this S2 line, which is currently sitting towards this 31,608. As well as that, we do have this 33,432 area as a possible target area above us at the moment. If we do actually maintain this S1 line here at this 29,410, we can look for that potential to push up. Alternatively, if we do look to move down deeper here, I would be looking to see whether we find support on this 27,818 to this 27,402 level. If we do lose those zones, what we could actually see is price could come back into this 25,400, this lower level here of this 23,616, and then finally down here towards this 21,390 zone. So going to be keeping an eye on these as price moves through these levels. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It is free to join. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.